And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Cold evening ahead, temperatures falling back down into the teens. Most of the area will see uh, mostly clear skies, but it's the northeastern part of the viewing area that has the clouds and a little bit of lake effect snow, flurries, some scattered snow showers. So white plast sky over to Miami counties. There may be a few places that get a light dusting, a little powdered sugar dusting in some places. You see some snow showers here from Winnemac back down to near Royal Center. Uh, some of these will impact with a few flakes like Headley and Monon and also perhaps as far south as Deer Creek and a few more little snow showers coming into Fulton County as well and a couple flakes as far south as Peru, Denver and Mexico and Chile there in northern Miami County. This lake effect machine will eventually shut down as the winds turn to the southwest ahead of our next storm system that's going to pump in the warmth. So a big, albeit brief, warm up big temperature change coming just in time for late in the weekend but tonight nine above but the good news is the winds will be decreasing but still given lows at 7 to 12 over the area your wind chill is still going to run roughly five below zero to five above zero we're down to 10 tonight at flora though 12 at rochester eight rensselaer and eight degrees at fowler tomorrow's a 27 to 31 day again normal high is around 40 to the low 40s, 24 by noon and 29 at 3. So warmer, but you will notice the wind picking up a little bit and a few clouds around with the sunshine. So indeed, 27 to 31 for highs, but your wind chills will still be running at 14 to 22. Saturday, we're kind of partly cloudy, then we eventually become sunny. The wind picks up, so yes, again, warmer, but the wind will make it feel colder. So we're 18 around 5 in the morning, rising to 21 by 7 as the southwest wind begins to pull warmer air in here and then breezy during the afternoon. There's that 42 degree high 37 to 44 should do it for highs area wide, but your morning wind chills at 4 to 10 and your afternoon wind chills 28 to 35. Future cast at 8 shows the lake effect clouds and still a few snow showers up here in our northeast counties and even through midnight still a few snow showers, so a little powdered sugar coating or dusting in some of these areas, generally northeast of Lafayette, that everything pulls away. Tomorrow we got the sun out, a few clouds around here and there. Uh, and then even on Saturday, despite a partly cloudy sky initially, we become clear later on in the day, setting the stage for much warmer weather on Sunday. Strong winds though from the southwest, we cloud up and we start to get some showers in here later Sunday, Sunday night. And into Monday, again, a lot of wind. We're going to have some wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour Sunday night into Monday morning. Then that pulls away. One thing we will have to watch Tuesday, Wednesday is with the front here, a little wave is going to ride up that front with some snow. There's some disagreement as to how, uh, how far to the west that wave goes. That will determine if we get any light snow on Tuesday or Wednesday that accumulates. But regardless, I still think we're going to have a few flurries and snow showers coming in from the northwest at the very least. Seven day forecast again, your normal highs 41. Look at that warmth on Sunday, though. Windy 54 p.m. showers, morning showers Monday, still windy 51 will likely fall into the 40s during the afternoon. And again, Tuesday, Wednesday, at the very least, some scattered flurries and snow showers. If that little wave on the front tracks a little farther to the northwest, could be more of a steady snow with some accumulation. It's 29 Wednesday, 28 on Thursday, and then we bounce right back. Another big temperature swing with rain and some 50s a week from Sunday.